evening, brothers and sisters. I am Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank you, each of you, for listening and joining us on this evening, amen, for prayer. Tonight's scripture and text will be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 through 5, which says, The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imaginations. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, blessed be your holy name this evening, Lord. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for forgiving us of all of our sins. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, giving us your only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. We thank you, Lord, for this eternal gift, because without your gift, Heavenly Father, None of us would have an opportunity to change. None of us would have an opportunity to sit at the seat of your heavenly table, Lord, your heavenly council. So we want to thank you today, Lord Jesus. We want to thank you today, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you today, Holy Spirit, for carrying and covering every single one of us around this earth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, precious God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being our provider, for being our protector. For being the one, Heavenly Father, that is the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Only you, Heavenly Father, could separate the light from the darkness. For none of us were there, Heavenly Father, when you separated the firmaments from the firmaments, when you created something from nothing, and you spoke things into existence. There was no blueprint, Heavenly Father, that you followed. All was spoken into existence, Heavenly Father, by your will. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your divine magnificence, for your presence, Heavenly Father, your throne. You are incomprehensible to us, Lord. And we just want to thank you today with the breath that we have, with the small breath that we have, Lord, with this life that we have, to give you honor, all the honor and praise and glory. For no one and nothing can do the things that you do. You made all things, Heavenly Father. All things, Lord, seen and unseen, were made by you. So we come before you this evening, Heavenly Father, and tell you thank you. Blessed be your almighty name. We thank you, Heavenly Father, this evening for keeping us, Lord, throughout this week. Lord, as it is just Tuesday, we thank you, Lord, for making it to Tuesday when many people did not make it past Monday. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for keeping us safe on these roads, even though, Heavenly Father, our driving habits need to improve. Our road rage scenarios, Lord, need to be reduced. Lord, our anger and distractions with cell phone technology, Heavenly Father, let us be mindful on these roads, Lord, to pay attention to all the traffic signs, to all the rules of the road, Lord, to pay attention, Heavenly Father, so that people's lives are not being put in danger. We pray today, Lord, thank you. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for you, Heavenly Father, for standing in the gap for each and every single one of us. Blessed be your holy name today. Heavenly Father, we want to pray a special prayer over the congregation itself, over the body of Christ. Not over what, just one particular church, Lord, but all of them, Lord. We pray, Lord, that your people continuously, Lord, press toward the mark of the high calling. And not to continue to get ourselves aligned in the things of the world. Get ourselves allied with people in the darkness just to make some money. For Lord, it is you, our God, who provides for all of our needs. We may not have the financial success that we want at this moment, but we want to pray, Lord, today uh, for a sound mind, Lord, for a mind that can make wise decisions with a little. For your word says, he who is unfaithful with little will be unfaithful with much. So we pray tonight, Heavenly Father, uh, that you bless our minds, Lord God, that you work with our minds, Lord, so that we Amen. Restoring the right things, Heavenly Father, and doing the right things. 
bless your holy name. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we come against this spirit, amen, of racism that continues, continuously runs rampant across the land, Lord, this dividing factor that we have, Lord, amongst ourselves of skin color, Lord God, of colorism. Lord, these are things that you have made, Lord. It is you, Heavenly Father, that determine the color and spectrum of every person's outer appearance. It is you, Heavenly Father, that has determined these things, not us. So we want to pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, against that spirit of division, Lord God, against the spirit of superiority, against the spirit of inferiority. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we develop new eyes, your eyes, Lord, that we can see this world, Lord, through the eyes uh, that you have given us, Lord, through your own vision, so that we can see, Lord, that we are to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And that we are not supposed to categorize, categorize the rich and the well-off and the poor and certain people getting better treatment than others. Lord, let us not be a backlog. Let your body, let your children not be a backlog, Lord. Let us not deem someone superior uh, because of their skin tone and another one inferior because of their skin tone. Lord, let us Put, cast these things aside, Lord. Uh, let us move towards the mark of the high home. Bless your holy name today. We want to lift up minister, amen, Eliza Collins, Lord. Today, we want to lift her up, thanking you, Heavenly Father, for healing her. We want to lift up uh, uh, to you, uh, Sharon Spence, Lord God. We want to lift up Elder Sharon Spence, along with Willie Spence Sr., Lord God. We pray healing over that household in the name of Jesus Christ. The Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for combating and ending and becoming victorious over racism. For, Lord, in your word, race is defined, Lord, by what God we worship. Lord, are we of one flock or are we of another fold? And we want to pray today that we worship only Almighty God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not our false idol gods, not our carved images, not our uh, imagination of what success and ambition is on earth. The Bible said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It is you, Heavenly Father, who we give to it whom you desire and all of its riches and glory. It won't be us, Heavenly Father. It won't be the people who are simply trying to gain for gain's sake. For your word says, a fool and his money soon part ways. So we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that we are not fools, Lord, that we do not despise wisdom and instruction that we cannot serve two masters, both God and money. And we want to pray today, Lord, uh, that we keep our expectations where they need to be. Expectations in the Lord, to be of great expectations in the Lord, not to be of the great expectation, expectations of the things in this world. The things in this world are passing. The things in, the things in this world, Heavenly Father, will compromise us. The things in this world will have us selling our own soul out, Lord, for a few dollars more. So we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, that we learn to be content, or that we learn to manage, that we learn to be stewards of all that which you have given us. And in your time and in your due season, amen, our finances will multiply, our resources will multiply in the name of Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, we pray today, Lord, against genderism. We pray, Lord, as this continue in the spirit realm, this war against the men and the women, this war, this rivalry, Heavenly Father, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says you made them both male and female in the image of God. So, Heavenly Father, we need not war with each other over which half is better. We need not war over foolishness, Lord. Let us not be again caught by the deception of the enemy. Amen. No one, amen, to go into eternal life. But your will, Lord, is such that none shall, uh, none shall perish. So, we pray today in the name of Jesus Christ that we keep our minds and hearts fixed. To where they need to be. Lord, we thank you today, Heavenly Father, for strengthening us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, today for healing us in your holy, precious name. Lord God, we lift up today all of our family members and brothers and sisters and friends all around the world, Heavenly Father, many are dealing with terminal illnesses. Those and their spouses have been giving days to live, weeks to live. So we want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, a suddenly occurs a miracle. Heavenly Father, a miracle occurs right now in that ICU, right now in that hospice unit, right now in that bedroom. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, healing, Lord. Let us be healed, Lord, by your almighty wings today, Lord God. We want to pray today, Heavenly Father, for focus. We want to pray, Heavenly God, Father, today for focus, Lord, that we keep our wits sharp in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Lord God, we want to pray for anyone that is on these roads dealing with stop and go traffic situations. We pray safety and security and alertness. Uh, Heavenly Father, we pray that they do not fall asleep on the road today. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, that they are safe and sound and secure. So, Lord God, we want to pray for any and everyone that is suffering from issues of the mind, Lord, psychological issues, psychiatric issues. We want to pray, Lord, that those spirits, any and all foul spirits, Heavenly Father, are cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. They are not reduced, uh, but they are cast out in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord uh, the Lord our God, Lord, you have showed us that we need to cast out the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for anyone that has been diagnosed with cancer, anyone that has been diagnosed and given a grandma prognosis, we want to pray today that the light of the world and that is Jesus Christ uh, infiltrate that body, infiltrate that mind, Lord, to redirect all the abnormal form, form cells in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you today, Lord God, we want to thank you today. Amen. For healing those with heart disease, those with heart disease, heart palpitations, heart murmurs, irregular heartbeats, any and all related heart issues, we want to pray today in your holy precious name. Uh, that, amen, you are the wheel in the middle of the wheel. Heavenly Father, that it is you that has healed those with Alzheimer's, Heavenly Father, schizophrenia, brain tumors, and aneurysms, Lord God, bone disease, and stroke. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus Christ for healing us, Lord Jesus. A leprosy is making a comeback across the land, and we want to pray against that in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray against all of the bacteria and the pathogens and the viruses. Lord, let us focus our minds on you so that you, Heavenly Father, so give us a man of peace. Bless your holy name today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Richard God. Sweet Holy Spirit. Blessed be your almighty name today. Heavenly Father, we pray today healing for those with bone disease, those with strokes and seizures and depressions and anxieties, any sort of emotional instability whatsoever. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we come against it with the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray today and lift up all of our loved ones. We want to lift up our loved ones, Heavenly Father, where you know all of their names, you know all of their places of the world, you know, Heavenly Father, where they are right now, this very minute, this very hour, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray over Apostle Don Trim Jones, Pastor Mac Jones, their children and grandchildren, and the entire Bethel family worship section. Heavenly Father, we want to pray over Aunt Missionary Lily Steinbridge, Lord God, for healing her, Lord Jesus, for getting a prognosis back. Amen. That is free and clear in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray over Casey Roberts. Today, Heavenly Father, we pray over Minister Latrina Cope, Talia, Mary, and family. We call out Shania Powell, amen, Catherine Hunter. Lord God, we thank you for healing Catherine Hunter in the name of Jesus Christ. With our, the hospital did not give her hours to live, but Lord, we know that you have the final say so. You have the final say so in all of our lives. Bless your holy name today. Heavenly Father, we pray today, amen, over Desiree Davis. Heavenly Father, we lift up Carolyn Minor, the Spence and Singleton family. Amen. We pray over the family of Elder Marty Swain, Lord God. We pray over the family, the Wade family, and the loss of their grandfather. Heavenly Father, we pray over Minister Kendra in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray today for Sister Sheila Wallace and family in prayer. Amen. We pray for Scott Bender and Jeanette Smith. We pray for Loyalty Johnson. Amen. Kimber, Caroline Carter, Ms. Debbie Rock, Heavenly Father, Minister Eliza Collins, the family elder, and, and family elder Wanda. And family, other Gwen Weston, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up Pastor Brian and family. We pray over Minister Hernandez and Elder Ralph Labor and their respective families. Lord God, we call out Elder Lorraine, Trim Marlene, Trim Camille, Trim. We pray over Minister Landy Phillips. Amen. This evening, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray. Amen. Over Minister Wilcox and family. Lord, Minister Tia and Renee Hope. Uh, we pray over Brother Bernard Childs and family, Mia and Cornelius Goldwire. We pray over Kevin, Heavenly Father. We pray over Noah Lucas. We pray over the entire Ward family, Lord God. We pray over Sister Greta Simmons and family. We pray over Miss Melissa Below and family. We pray, Heavenly Father, over Becky McCall, our entire family. Lord God, we lift up Lisa, amen, Miss Debbie Rock's cousin, Lord God. We want to lift up Miss Malay's grandma and Jimmy Marie Lewis. Heavenly Father, we thank you for healing, Lord Jesus. We pray over Larry Gaskin, Jr. 
uh, Mr. Jim's cousin, uh, and Larry Gaskin, in the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up salvation for Robert. We call for salvation for Robert. But we lift up Willie King in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that will be standing in the need of prayer. Amen. This evening, Heavenly Father, we want to lift them up by name and we want to decree and declare right now that they are healed by faith this very moment, this very hour in the name of Jesus Christ. But Lord, we thank you for healing us on the spiritual realm, Lord, first. Uh, and our bodies, Lord, will keep you. Up. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, for healing us. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, for uh, strengthening us, Lord, in spite of all of the tribulations and obstacles that we have incurred. Blessed be thy holy name today. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord, as we pray for all family members and friends that are still in bereavement and mourning for the loss, the tragic loss of their loved ones. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for them in your holy, precious name. Lord, we want to pray covering for them. We want to pray, Lord, that they are at ease. Lord, we want to pray for peace. We want to pray for restoration. Lord, let them be comforted to know, Lord, that they are in the best hands, that they are in your hands. Lord, it's your hands. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for covering all of our brothers and sisters with special needs, with those that cannot think for themselves, those that are chair bound, Lord, house bound. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ for them. We thank you for their caregivers. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing. We thank you, Lord, for healing them of all infirmities. Heavenly Father, you kneel down and ask all of us, Lord, our, our, our sins are forgiven. So we pray today, Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiving all of our sins. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing all of our bodies. We pray today for our brothers and sisters that do not have access to those who can help them. We pray for caregivers in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray for the caregivers, those that have sacrificed everything. Those that have sacrificed everything. We pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. That's your Lord God, Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless your holy name today. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for covering the poor and the homeless. Lord, we thank you for feeding the hungry out of the world. And those that do not have food, Lord, we pray for a suddenly to occur, a suddenly to occur in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to give thanks, Lord, for everything that you have provided to us. We want to give thanks, Lord, for no matter how small it is. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, this opportunity, Lord Jesus, to continue to be a part of something, to continue to be a part of your blueprints. Heavenly Father, to be a part of your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you for covering all children around the world. We thank you for covering them, Lord. We thank you, uh, Jesus, for keeping them safe. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for providing them a way out, Lord, as many of them are facing justice. We want to thank you, Lord God. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, if, because of the injustices that they face. We believe that they can be free right now from wherever they are. We pray, we pray, Lord, that they can uh, be free from any jail cell, Lord, any dungeon, any chain, any attic. Lord, any facility where they are being kept, Lord, we want to pray healing for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we want to thank you today for praying against this human trafficking set of the scheme, Lord, this child of slavery. Lord, we come against it with the full name of Jesus Christ, with the full force and power of the name that is above every name in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that all the people that are responsible in these circles, Lord, are brought to the light of the Father, brought to answer. Amen. And if they do not face uh, justice here on the inside, well, we know no one will escape your heavenly courts. But we know, Heavenly Father, that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And we want to thank you today, Lord, for your truth. Uh, we want to thank you today, Lord, for your revelation, uh, for your word, say that God be true and let every man be a liar in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray today, Lord, against soul ties. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, uh, bless your holy name today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing us of all ungodly soul ties. We want to thank you, Lord, for closing those portals in our life. Closing those portals, Lord, so they do not open anew, and we do not go back into the world that you have delivered us from. But Heavenly Father, your word says that the Spirit will travel, Lord, after being cast out and go back to the same place it was cast out this time with seven more imps. Alone. So we want to pray, Lord, that we do not go back into those situations. We pray that we follow for a sound mind, a sound mind, Lord, to do your will and to do your being. Blessed be your holy name today. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Father, bless your holy name today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, gracious God. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for those, amen, who are still suffering from addictions. 
for those things still suffer from addiction. We pray, Lord Jesus, that whatever stronghold has called you addiction, whatever nervousness and fear, things from the past or self-hatred, we want to pray, Lord, against these things in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray against hopelessness today. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, uh, for those, amen, battling doubt, those that are still in the fence. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that they come down off of the fence just as the years came out of the tree, Heavenly Father, for you are here today to meet us all in our house. So we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ uh, for your revelation. We thank you, Lord, for your deliverance. We thank you, Lord, for protecting us from the deception of the enemy, Lord, from the lies of the enemy, from the information of warfare that the enemy is constantly waging against us, Lord, we want to thank you today in the name of Jesus Christ. We just pray, Heavenly Father, amen, Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for protecting us from the seen and the unseen, Lord, from the natural and the supernatural, Lord God. We want to thank you for protecting us. We want to thank you for protecting us, Lord, with the breastplate of righteousness, the, set, uh, the helmet of salvation, Lord God, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for protecting us with the girdle of truth and the gospel of peace, your full armament, Lord, the full armor of God. We thank you today uh, that we may not be called by the fiery darts of the enemy, that the shield of faith will power us through. Uh, through faith in you, Lord Jesus, faith in your life, death, and resurrection, your ascension and return. We pray today in the name of Jesus Christ uh, for belief. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that more believers, Heavenly Father, infiltrate these schools, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending your warning angels out ahead of us, Lord, to fight our arrest, Lord, to fight our battles for us. Lord God, we want to thank you today. Uh, we want to thank you today, Lord, for your word. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word. Be able to disseminate to your people all over the world for your will. Says, Lord, you commissioned the disciples to spread the gospel, spread the good news of Jesus Christ to all the people of Judea and throughout the entire world uh, to preach to every living creature. Bless your holy name today. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, for blessing us with the right weapon. The right weapon of our warfare are not carnal. It's not about our fists and our hands, Lord God, and guns and knives. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God for the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imagination. Anything that goes against, uh, that is against the captivity to being obedient, amen, to Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Lord, today for your word. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, uh, for all the things you have blessed us with, Lord God. We want to thank you today. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you today for these weapons, Lord, the weapons of prayer, the weapons of fasting, Weapons of the word, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord, the weapon of shield of faith. Lord God, we thank you for the weapons of our warfare today. Amen. Amen. Bless your holy name today. And Lord God, we thank you for healing us. We thank you for delivering us all, Lord, from entitlement, the spirit of entitlement. Lord. Only focusing on what we want in our lives, living our best life. We want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for perspective. We want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for your wisdom. Your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding for your word says and all I give to get understanding. So we pray today, Lord, for your understanding. We pray today, Lord, for your eyes. Let us see the world, Heavenly Father. Let us see ourselves. A new set of eyes, Lord. Let us be developed. Let us be strong. Amen. In the Lord and in the power of your might. Blessed be your almighty name today. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for giving hearing. Amen. To the spiritually deaf, for giving. Uh, sight to the spirits be blind, Lord, let us keep our eyes and ears open to what the Lord is doing, to what the Lord is saying. Blessed be your almighty name. Heavenly Father, we want to pray, amen, for those that are caught in these environmental disasters. We pray for those that are dealing with the hurricane in California. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Hawaii. Lord God, we want to pray for all of those that are displaced. We pray, Heavenly Father, that they find resources for us so they can rebuild. Heavenly Father, so we can rebuild that land. Bless be your heart and everything. And Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord God, for this uh, day of life, hope, and strength. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this Tuesday evening, Lord God, bless us to be here. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, to keep everything together. Bless your holy name today. So we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for you are the light of the world. You are the light that so shines inside of each of us, and we come before you tonight to tell you thank you. Thank you for covering our household, Lord. Thank you for covering our children as they go back off to school. Thank you for keeping the entire home safe and sound and secure. In the name of Jesus Christ, blessed be your almighty name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen.
Thank you, brothers and sisters. Amen for joining me for Revelation and Warfare. Uh, prayer this week. We pray, amen, that uh, the Lord our God, amen, keeps all of you safe and sound. Amen. We pray for healing for all of your families in the name of Jesus Christ. All of us have family members that are suffering, suffering from ailments. So let us keep uh, you, amen, oh Lord God, in our prayers. Let us keep our mind focused and stay on you, and we shall have perfect peace. Please join us again, brothers and sisters, this week on Facebook on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. for more prayer, Thursday nights at 8 p.m. for Bible study, and Sunday morning at 11 30 a.m. for the Word of God. Please remember to visit our YouTube channel at Revelation and Warfare Ministries for additional biblical and Word of God content. Also, if you would like to add yourself or someone you know to our weekly prayer list, amen. Please email us at Revelation and Warfare Ministries at Yahoo.com. That's Revelation and Warfare Ministries. At yahoo.com. Brothers and sisters, I am Minister John Pickens with Revelation of Ministries, and I want to thank you, each of you, for joining me for the Word of God today. Amen. Have a very, very blessed night.